Let me give you one or two instances. You tell the citizen, don't wear a mask or don't buy a mask. Leave that for the frontline workers. You come out and you say now, the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago don't even know how to put on a mask. You come now, you say the COVID is not, 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 um, not dangerous. You come now and you're telling the citizen now to bust a jersey and tie it around their head. Let me tell you something. Let me pop it talk. The most puppet talk. If you were serious, and the Prime Minister was serious, you all would have had things under control. So don't say you ain't know what to do. You embarrass yourself, you embarrass Trinidad and Tobago, and you embarrass the health sector by saying, I don't know what to do. You are Minister of Health. So you embarrass yourself big time. And as again, you put your embarrassment in Antibago on an international standard. But what are we going to do? I will leave some of this for Monday. So, Kevin Singh, put him up. Kevin Singh, you and I had an agreement a couple months back. And you failed to get in touch with me. So, brother man, from now to Monday, please do so. Please do so. Alright? So, before I move further... I want to wish Alison Bechu from Oropooch a happy birthday. This is coming from your husband, Navin, and the kids. So, my dear, happy belated birthday to do. I understand your birthday was yesterday. But nevertheless. So, viewers, we are about to start our re Real Talk relationship segment. Feel free to call in. What attracts you to a male or a female? And how long do you think intimacy should last while you are your partner in your private space? Or you're in your car, or you're in your hotel. Talk. Feel free to call in. 238-6716 is our relationship phone line for this Friday right here on Synergy Television. So what attracted you to your, your companion? Was it her speech? Was it the way she dressed? Was it her attitude? What? Call us and tell us tonight because the world is listening. The world is listening. Like I said, this is the only relationship program in Trinidad and Tobago and it is live on Synergy Television every Friday from 7 to 8 p.m. The only one. So if you are, feel free to call in. I want to hear from you. What attracts you to a significant other? And while you're in this attraction now with your significant other, I also want to ask you, how long do you think intimacy should last? Females, feel free to call in. You know, we have some two minutes, man, and five minutes, man, and thing. Some of them, as they get on, they get off. It's a relationship program. It's a relationship program. So these are the topics we're discussing. We're forgetting all the politics for tonight. It's just something I wanted to touch on the I'll sing. That's why I put them on television tonight. Otherwise, I would have wait for Monday. You know, he cried. I also wept. I also wept at one point in time. But we're going to talk about that for the next day. For the next day. But tonight, I want to hear. I want to hear from you, the ladies and the men. How long should intimacy last? Hmm? Are you call? Are you to call? <laughs> Are you afraid to call? Don't afraid to call if your partner say in five minutes and you say two minutes. All you don't afraid to call, feel free to call in. Because I will tell you something, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people who is suffering from it and for it. Call a good night. Hello? Hello? Next one. We are stick your get the click. This is our relationship program. We're dealing with relationships. This is what we're dealing with. You know, you're, you're caught in your, your nice pretty girl, or your darky, or your dogla. You know? Baby, oh God, you're looking nice. And I find you looking curvy. All you talk, you talk now. Boom, shut, you got opportunity. And you get opportunity, the opportunity now, you're toasty. You're toasty, boom! But darling, what happened? Oh God, girl, you, you know this kind of thing? Oh God, girl, I'm just... 
Go on, good night. Hey, good night. <laughs> good night, boss. <laughs> go right ahead, my friend. Hey, oh, good night. Talk to uh, me. The, the, man, the, man, the man does last tell the man do your business, sir. Uh -huh. But in my, you have to make sure your man do your business, too. No, but how long you think? <laughs> how, lo how long you think intimacy should last? As I say, as a, well, I tell you, the man does go off in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But you have to remain and tell your man that is like yourself. <laughs> I can't tell you that some of them might be two minutes, some of them might be five minutes, some true, of them might be five hours. True. You gotta go along here, one want to go? I want to tell you back break. No, what attracts you to a feel? You there? Yeah, yeah. What attracts you to a female? Personality. Personality. You married? Yeah. How long now? Three years. Three years. What? So is is, is, is your companion personality that draw you to her? Well, I like my girl for about uh, what, seven years before. Uh -huh. So I mean, the personality catch me. I mean, don't get me wrong, she's pretty. No, no, no. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. I understand what you're saying. You see, tonight, viewers, let me tell you something. Every morning, they get up as a headache in Trinidad and Tobago. But the next biggest thing to current affairs is relationship. It's relationship, and that's what we're dealing with. So far, for the couple of months gone by, is every Friday we're dealing with something new. So feel free to call in 2386716 and don't be shy. Ladies, where are you? How long do you expect your man to last? How long? Oh God, baby. Just imagine. You and, you, you, you and your honey boy going out. A nice candlelight wine. A nice dinner. You know, you come back home feeling toasty. Something to close off the night. And as you don't shower up, and you put on your little pretty gown, and your hair, as your hair lie down in the bed, your hair burning, oh God, darling! <laughs> Call her good night. Hello? Yes, go right ahead, you're live on Real Talk. Yeah, yeah, but I'll listen to one, I'll say it here. What do you say? Hello? Call her, we didn't understand what you said just now. But we're taking it up on Friday. Feel free to call in 2386716. Men, how long do you think intimacy should last? Ladies, how long do you think intimacy should last? And what attracts you to your special someone? Feel free, feel free. Call her good night. Hello, yeah, good night, sir. My friend, how long do you think intimacy should last? Yeah, uh, what I want to say is this. Mm -hmm. I enjoy your program. Mm -hmm. But there is a lot of little children that listen to this program. So. That is why, my friend. Now I'm going to tell you something. Let me give you the reason why. Why I come up with this topic. Now, tonight's topic, it have male and it have female. Right? And sometimes, a young individual, a young individual, as soon as he build attention and he discharge, two minutes, a minute, A minute, two minutes. That time the girl ready to go for a little half an hour. But listen this. Listen this. For the young folks and the older, the older heads, they would understand the seriousness of this program. If you're fine, you're discharging too fast, go check a doctor. Get yourself checked. Sometimes you have anxiety attack. And that could be dealt with. So this is why I decided to bring this up. Because there are people who would want help and don't know where to turn. Why do you think we call it Real Talk Relationship Segment? It's not only to find out how you meet she and, and, and how the life go in. No, it's not about that. It's about fixing the problem also. So that is why I decided to raise it. Call her good night. Yes, yeah, good night. My friend, how long do you think intimacy should last? I honestly believe that at least foreplay should be there for at least a 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. and intimacy, when you really get down to the action, it should last at least half an hour. How long? An hour? Half an hour? Half an hour. All right, all right. I understand what you're saying. No. So, Second you. question. What would attract you to a female? Or to your wife? What, what, what attracts you to your wife or girlfriend? Well, numerous things. 
the way she speaks, mm-hmm. the way she smells. Name, name one thing that will top off everything. You gone? No, no. Say that again. Name one thing that attracted you to your girlfriend or wife. Her beauty. Honesty? Yes. Beauty. Thank you, my friend. So you see, viewers? Some of you all might say, Saeed, you're not supposed to be talking about that. But let me tell you something. Your son could have a problem. Your brother could have a problem. Your husband could have a problem. He ain't satisfied. The male is satisfying the female. The female is satisfying the male. But where are you going to get it? Where are you going to fix the problem? You have no idea. There is no relationship segment on TV. There is here no place where you could go and you could sit down and talk about your relationship. When you go to counseling, is that how you divorce, you separate? Then you work out, eh, so you could make it? No, I can't make it, I'm done with that. You're done with that, call her good night. Hello, good night. Go right ahead. Yes, I how long I do you mean, How long do you think intimacy should last? As long as the woman go in, I go in the distance. Do I have no time with me or that? <laughs> Use that one hour or two hours? Uh, well, if it's two hours, two hours, wherever the time she want to go, I go in. Me no problem with that. I understand. Now, what attracted uh-huh. you to your wife or girlfriend? Well, she wears personality and thing. That attracted you? Yes. Thank you, my friend. Okay. So you see, viewers, we're keeping the ball rolling. It's not something to be ashamed of, you know. It's not something to be ashamed of because they have sex education in school. When they go to a hospital or a clinic, they, they distributing, um, they distributing condoms. So it's like practice safe sex. So it's not like it's something should be in the back burner of everything. No, no. Call a good night. Hello. Yes, good night. My friend, how long do you think intimacy should last? I think it should last as long as it could last. I understand. I understand what you're saying. Now, second question. What draw you to you your wife or your girlfriend? What you personality? Want to, you want me to be real? Real with you. All right. The first thing that drew me to my wife was breast. I'll be real. Chess. From the time I saw that, uh-huh. and I saw the smile, I decided, listen, you see this young lady, I want to go and talk to her. And from <laughs> there is where my relationship starts. I didn't know nothing about personality. I understand. All. It had, that you understand? attracted you? It was a physical attraction that I, I had seen her because I never spoke to her before. Nice, nice. So I had that physical attraction. And then after that now, I started to talk to this young lady and realized that this is the person I want to spend my life with. Nice. And nice. I am now 23 years of marriage, thank God. Ooh, congratulations. Thank you, my friend. All right, sir. So you see, viewers, there are many different things. One was personality. One was the appearance at the chest. You know, so it, it's different things. It's different things. It's different things. That is why I decided to host this program on a Friday night. What draw men and women together? Yes, you will go through difficulties. No relationship is perfect. No two people are the same. But as long as you're willing to compromise on both sides, you will make it. You will make it. Some not fortunate enough to make it. But nevertheless, they, they, they give it a shot. They give it a try. So feel free, to, feel free to call in 2386716. Let me hear what you have to say. All those spicy ladies and them. Where are you? All the cats are in a party because they're home. All the ministers say stay home. So what attracted you? What attracted you to your companion? Was it the way she dressed? Was it her chest? Was it her shape? What? Tell us what. 2386716. Feel free to call in because I'll tell you something. Every individual who is married or is liming a, a man or a woman, there is something that attracts them to that person. There is something. So tonight I want to hear from you. All who call in or, or all the Fridays that went by, I want to hear from you tonight. What attracted you to your companion or, 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 or loved one? Call her good night. 
Hello? Mute your television, please, when you are calling. And make sure it is safe to talk. Make sure. <laughs> so, if you are this Friday night right here on Real Talk, and we're taking it down. Call her good night. Yes, sir. Good night. My dear. Whoa. Thank God we have a female in the, in, in the house tonight. My friend, yes, sir. how yes, long sir. do you think uh, intimacy should last with you? Well, sir, to be honest, one up, one down, my husband. Eh? That's a minute? Less than a minute. Oh, good. Now, my friend, what attracted you to him? Huh? Well, sir, after that, I'm done with him. Oh, God. <laughs> So you separate then? She got? No, I still with him, but it's falling down the line. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Well, hey, watch man. Thank God nobody can recognize nobody on, on, on air, you know. <laughs> so, my friend, thank you for calling in. So, you see, viewers, it's the same thing I said just now. It's the same thing I said just now. We're not being disrespected in any way possible. In any way, because the general manager for Synergy would have called me already. And he knows a man that's keep it professional. So what attracts you to your, to your loved one? Call her good night. Yeah. My friend, how long do you think intimacy should last? He gone? You know, like he frightened to talk, boy. I want to see that somebody come across and you have to hang up the phone. <laughs> somebody come across. So if you are still free to call in, this is your program, this is your platform on a Friday night. To express or to tell the world what attracted you to that person. Call her good night. Hi, good night. My dear, how long do you think intimacy would last or should last? Are you there? Hello? Hi, this is Dr. Ross. No, 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 no. No, this is Saeed. <laughs> this is Saeed. <laughs> so if you all feel free to call in, join in our discussion tonight. We're having a little fun. We're taking it down on our Friday night. We want to hear about relationships. What attracted you to your partner? This is what we want to know. What attracted you? Because some people are attracted to others in many different ways. Many different ways. Some like how a person dress. Some like how a person talk. As my friend just now, he said the chest attracted him. You know, so there are many, many different things. What, what, what are some of yours? Call her good night. Hello, good night. Good night, my dear. How long do you think intimacy should last? Well, I did comment on your post there and I say, as long as you satisfied and I satisfied, we good to go. But how long? Put a time frame. A half an hour? A five minutes? An hour? Well, I would say, me and one of us, sing. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let, let me ask you then, how long do you think it should last with you? An hour? Yeah, an hour. All right, nice. Now, you married <laughs> or you, you live in, you have a boyfriend? I one time. Nice. How, what attracted you to him? I like a man with a smell good, look good, mm -hmm. feel good, nice. everything. What? Thank you, my friend. <laughs> so it's the looks and the feels and the scent. That is what attracted her. So viewers, I'm going to tell you something. Many people, many male and female, are afraid to talk about their relationship. If it's good, if it's bad, you might not last long, I regret, this happened, that happened. You don't have to go and see nobody if you're shy. What you could do is pick up the phone, 238 and call us and tell us. You maybe never tell nobody how how, how you get in love with this man? What attract you to this man? You know? Feel free to call in. Feel free to call in. Now, you might be suffering from a problem. Oh, God. Said, you know, my husband is impotent, but I'm in love with him, and I don't want to go outside. How you think we should fix this? Feel free to call in. 
This is your program. You see, the next biggest thing in Trinidad and Tobago is a relationship. Is a relationship. You see, when God made Eve and he made Adam, he made them for companionship. Companionship. So let us hear what attracted you to your companion. Only Friday night call as well, you're going. Want to take a rest today? Hmm? Want to take a holiday today? Was all the, 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 the wedding arranged wedding? All? All you married, male and female. Your wedding was arranged? Call a good night. Yeah, my wedding was arranged. My friend, how long do you think intimacy should last? I say, if it lasts for too long, you have to try them both ways upstairs and downstairs. <laughs> no, are you there? Yeah. What attracted you to your girlfriend or wife? The way she looks, the way she's mm-hmm. and that's the bouncy. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Excuse. Say, see, viewers, I want to know. I want to know what attracts you to your friend. Because they have a lot of women that's coming here. A lot of pretty women, a lot of ugly women, a lot of fat ones, a lot of thin ones, a lot of short ones, a lot of tall ones. But I am not judging them. But you might find something. Hey, you know this woman look good, boy? And then when she sit down and start talking to you, it's like, wow. Her personality, something attract me. Yeah, call her good night. Hi, uh, good night, sir. Uh, Go right ahead, my friend. What attracted you to your loved one? Well, well, I love at first sight. Nice, nice. I understand what you're saying there. It's just the love appearance I, of everything. As the first time I bless my eyes on her, the first words that come out my mouth is, I want to marry you. Woo! You're the man on I, target, boy. And she, she had on a yellow top where what marks, I am somebody special. Mm -mm. And, and you pick I it up right in. I lived, I lived for 32 years with her. Nice, married, nice, and nice. And she remains as somebody special. Okay, okay. Well said. I like how you say that. Now, but I have one other question for you. How long do you think intimacy should last? For all the time. Put a time frame. But you mean with let, me let me her? use you as a time frame. How long do you last? Uh, a year. I don't hear you. One year because uh, after one year we got married. No, but no, I no. Could... You, you missed the point. How long do you think intimacy should last with your companion in bed? Hmm, well, as long as it, as long as I alive. As long as I could make it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> hey, the man right there, as long as he could make it, he ain't wrong, you're right. So, viewers, just to keep you in mind that, um, remember, I am doing a drive to buy tablets and computers for a student that is, it is unavailable to them. About 125 mothers and fathers came to me asking for a device. So what I have decided to do, right, is to ask you the population to make a contribution to Real Talk of 500 or 600, or if you want to pledge more, is not a problem. Now, I have to buy 125 device, and I asking, I'm asking for your assistance. Just contribute at 500 or 600, or any amount you want to purchase. We have 125 devices to purchase, and I need your help. Now, with you making that contribution, you could be able to win an all-inclusive trip for two to Tobago in a luxurious hotel. So this is what I'm giving back to you for making a contribution of our 500, or 600, a thousand dollars. You can win an all-inclusive weekend for the, the value of it is about six, five, six thousand dollars. Two days and a night, about five, six thousand dollars. And all you had to do is contribute at 500 or 600 to purchase one of these devices. So <clears throat> feel free, viewers, 
to call me at 2386716 or 3391670 to make a contribution. It's about 125 students that need devices. So please, I'm asking you to make a contribution. Call a good night. Good night. How long do you think intimacy should last in bed with your companion? Now, well, if I get in that arm, that could just be going to last much longer. <laughs> yeah, but I was saying, I'm going to have more than a second, I'm going to have 75 seconds. 75 seconds? 75 minutes, I mean. Oh, 75 minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like an hour and a half, hour and three quarters of a minute um, of the clock. Right. That's right, but I missed almost 15 seconds. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, no, then I said, you cannot swim, but... <laughs> now, the second question I have for you. You married? No, 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 no. You have a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's nice. One Google. Um, she's one Google. If she has the best behavior, we will go to be go together. Now, what in this woman that attracted you to her? Many things, but it was the intimacy. Thank you very much. So it's one thing attracted him. He liked how it went. And after that, well, he decided, you know, well, girl, well, we go lime. We go lime. You see, viewers, you see, people have different ways in picking up their loved one in different, different ways. Now, why should you be ashamed to tell somebody, well, hey, you know, I, 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 I lime in this girl, boy, and watch me. Me and she had a real nice time in the bed, and I feel like... You know, it, it blew your mind. That intimacy session, it blew your mind. And I feel I could like, I feel I could rack up with this woman. I feel I could marry with this woman. The man just said intimacy, that, 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 oh, want something in the bed. It catch him. It catch him and he lying in. So there's a lot of different things, you all. Feel free to call in. 2386716. Let me hear from you. We're taking it back. Call a good night. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Nice. Now, as you tell me that, uh, as you greet me that way, you know, it have people would say, Saeed, you know, you're a Muslim. You're not supposed to be talking about that. But hey, if your woman have a problem, what she go do? Die with sorrow? Kola, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, listen. You think she will die with sorrow? No. It have somebody she go want to go and talk to. So, my right. friend. How long do you think intimacy should last in bed with your loved one? Well, I feel more like boy. Hey, you're a damn man, boy. <laughs> <laughs> my friend, are you married? Yes, this is a quick wife, though. All right. Now, what attracted you to this woman? I, I feel being genuine, boy. Genuine? Yeah. You, you like her honesty? Yeah. All right. Thank you, my friend. All right. You see, viewers, we're moving along. We're reaching somewhere. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This show, instead of you remaining in the box, in darkness, this show on a Friday night will bring you out into the light. Why am I saying this? It will get you wise. It will get you smart. It will lead you to understand that, hey, there are people I could talk to about my situation and get it fixed. Call a good night. Good night, Mr. Said. Go right ahead, my dear. How long do you think intimacy should last in bed? Well, well Sahid, I, can I ask you a question? Sure. If, if, if hot water boiling, you know, when you put it on hot water, it get cold? I didn't hear you. you, you, you. I said, if the water is hot, uh -huh. you can't wait for it to get cold. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, I like you, I like you. But, Another thing is, but how long do you think it should last? An hour? Well, a half an no, hour. Always too much. Always too much. The hour is too much. Yes, half an oh. hour is just good. All right, all right, all right. No. no. Are you married? Yes, married. Right. Forty years. Congratulations. And what attracted husband. What attracted you to that individual? Well, when I got married to my husband, I really never liked him much. Huh? I really never liked him much. But when I married to him, he teach me a lot. Okay, okay. He teach me a lot. He said, "Mom." I tell you, so you can teach another man. <laughs> you hear that? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> so you see, viewers, the Friday night show is to loosen you up. It's to loosen you up. Now, there's sex education in school. 
the hospitals, the pharmacies, when they go to um, family planning clinic, they distribute condoms. You see, they, 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 it's like we want to promote it. Instead of you having it in the dark, and nobody is educated about it, bring it out into the domain and educate the young one, the old one, and the middle class one. You see what parents did no long ago? They could learn it now. And they will be educated. And they will pass on the education to their children. I will tell you something also. Why do you think we have so much teenage pregnancy? Why do you think? Hmm? Because 90% of them did it for the first time. And they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. The guy don't know what to do. He don't know about protection. He don't know about pills. He don't know about birth control. He don't know anything. And the girl, well, a little more worse. All they want to know, well, hey, you know, we um, let me try this. You get caught up. You get pregnant. Mother wants to kill father. Father wants to kill this one. This one wants to kill that one. The boy is the wrong one. The girl is the wrong one. It's all kind of thing. But if we educate the public, they will see a difference. Call a good night. Hi, good night, hi. My dear, how long do you think intimacy should last in bed? Okay, for me, I think about an hour. About an hour? But, sorry, one thing I want to ask you. Yes? Uh, how long do you think for you? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't choke me there, yes? <laughs> me? I don't kind of hot man, you know. <laughs> I don't kind of hot man, you know. I like to make love. I like to foreplay. No, but we're being real. I was in the program. I have to be honest. Right? I have to be honest. I like to play around. I like to feel. I like to touch, you know. Let me say about an hour, hour and a half hunting, and I'm comfortable. That is me. But my dear, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Yeah. All right. What attracted you? To this guy. Mm, when I saw him the first time, just the way how he dressed and his smile was wow. Mm -mm. So your parents blow your mind. Yes, yes, for sure. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> so you see, viewers, now we're getting the younger ones to call in. Because why? It is educating the younger one. You see, I will tell you something. <clears throat> as long as there is sex education in the public domain. As long as there is sex education in the public domain, the younger ones will know that if they're having sex, use a protection, use a pill, talk to somebody. If it's the first time you're going to do it, talk to somebody. It's obvious your mother and your father will tell you, well, hey, you know, if you're liming somebody, well, bring it home. Bring him home or bring she home. You know, we, we want to know who it is. We know that some parents will say, hey, as long as you're in this house, it's a different thing. Me and want you with this one, and me and want you with that one, and then you have to get a special person to bring in the house. No! No! It don't operate like that. Call her good night. Hi, good night. My dear, are you married? Yes. No. No? You but have a boyfriend? No, but I wish you were mine. Oh my God! <laughs> you are my, you are my fantasy, and I love you. I look at you every time when I try calling, and I love the way you look tonight. And uh, I'm not being shameless. I do respect you, but I'm just telling you that you're my fantasy. That's all. Mm -mm. You could, you could call me. You know, two three nine one six seven zero. <laughs> That's all. Hey, let me tell you something. <clears throat> One of the reasons why, one of the reasons why I host in this relationship segment is not just to help me be better, you know. Not just to help me, you know. But to help others who are looking on. Because I'll tell you something. Remember when we hosted this show? I hosted this show for like about three Fridays. And after I cut it off. And then I started to receive hundreds of calls. Hundreds of, I get about 1,100 calls in one week. Saeed, continue the relationship program on a Friday night. We are learning a lot. I tell you, a 65-year-old woman, 
She learned how to deal with her, how to deal with her 70 year old husband. And things going like if they now meet. All I feel is joke. I could give your name and number, but I wouldn't do that. Privacy is privacy. Call her good night. Hello? Hello? Yes? How are you married, my friend? Yeah. Now, what attracted you to your woman? She know how to do the homework. Ah, I hear you. Now, since I talk about that, how long do you think the homework should last now? About a half an hour. About a half an hour? Thank you, my friend. I just like, I just touch her thing. Thank you, my friend. So you see, viewers, it's nothing to be ashamed about. You see, <clears throat> yes, I know on television. Yes, I know the, the world is looking down on me. I have to know how I bring my questions across on television. So media won't come down on me, and Matt won't come down on me, and the general manager for Senator TV wouldn't come down on me. Because I know little children are looking on. And I have to do things in the best and appropriate way to get the message across. 2386716. What attracted you to your special someone? And I will tell you something. I will tell you something. This show, let me tell you, if I tell you the distance, this show reaching, you all will doubt me. You all will doubt me. This is the only show in Trinidad and Tobago. The other lawyer woman called me. She said, Said. She said, let me tell you something. I have always wanted. I have always wanted an individual to come up with a relationship show on television. She, she said it doesn't matter what station. And the reason for this is to educate and to promote sex education and safe sex. Because there's a bacchanal with the education system if to teach sex or if to, not to teach safe sex in school. There's a battle. And she said, I am glad that you have decided to do this on a Friday night. She said she, she teenage daughter and her teenage son are locked on every Friday. Call her good night. Good night, sir. My friend, are you married? Yes, sir. What drew you to your special someone? What attracted you? I tried. I could call in 1984. I went to a farewell in Tamron. Mm -hmm. Tamron Tree in California. Mm -hmm. And I saw this beautiful girl, lovely face. Her eyes were very attractive, her lips and her whole appearance. Mm -mm. I fell in love at sight. Love at sight. A, she was wearing a white dress and so Narpo put together with Cecil Fon Rose was performing at a cooking. Eh, uh, uh, that's a Narpo hook up then. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Now, being big, being a big person, mm -hmm. how long do you think intimacy should last between a couple in bed? All right, well, I have two answers for that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say about 45 minutes was mm -hmm. blown up. But um, you know when you're young and they try to steal one mm -hmm. short, and, short and sweet, about five minutes. I understand what you're saying. Thank you so much, my friend, for calling in. Thank you. So you see, viewers, we're reaching places. The younger ones are calling in. The older ones are calling in. You see, I'm going to tell you something. It's not because I have a show on TV and because I'm a public figure and because I'm famous we just decide to do something, you know. No, no. Let me tell you something. The amount of people that is be counseling, young one, middle class one, older one, you're 59 years, you're 60 years, and you want to separate from uncle who reached 70 years to get out. You know, after 50 years of living, you must find a way to settle it down. Call her good night. Hello? Hello. My dear, are you married? Yes. All right. What attracted you to your loved one? Well, I have a question for you, Sai. Mm hmm When a man gets in everything in his house, what does give him right to go and have an outside of it? I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. But I will tell you something. 
There is many things would lead for him going outside or her going outside. Many things. But, but tonight is I want to know what attracted you to your loved one. Well, well, after I was married to him, mm -hmm. I got um, totally turned off by um, he being an outside woman and I being honest to him. Okay, okay. But to yourself, what do you think caused it? Um, maybe some man just have long eyes or the like right prostitute. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, but, but... So you're saying he living inside and going outside? Yeah. But something have to cause it. He would not just pick up himself just so and go outside. Well, he wants to have more than one woman and manage more than one house. Oh, okay. Well, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Now, being a, a grown woman in society, how long do you think intimacy should last between a couple in bed? Well, when you meet that correct person and you fall in love with that person, share your body with that person mm -hmm. um it shouldn't have no special time because love this cup on luxury no problem thank you so much for calling in my dear you see we get different discussions as we're going along sometimes it, have, it might have somebody you might get your answer one time right here on air you understand and then it might have might have somebody again like Said, I will come in to see you, boy. So and so and so is the case. But nevertheless, let me tell you something. I ain't regret opening this real talk relationship segment on a Friday, you know. I ain't regret it at all, at all, at all. Because it have husband and wife, it have boyfriend, it have girlfriend is coming to see me, and I'm gonna tell you something. A simple, simple thing this cause an argument and a separation. Simple, simple little thing. Call a good night. Hi, good night. How are you doing? Hi, good, hi, good. Are you married, my dear? Yes, yes. What attracted you to your loved one? one? Your best program that you have on, on air. The best one or the best? Yeah, one of the best. Thank you so much. What attracted to you? What, what was on your husband that attracted you to him? Well, it was, it was his kind, caring nature. Mm -hmm. and, and probably on, on the kinky side, the way he licked his lips. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, since you talk about <clears throat> how long uh, how long do you think intimacy should last between a couple in bed? Well, probably about a half an hour. A half an hour? Yeah. Alright, thank you so much for calling in, my dear. You're welcome. See, see viewers, let me tell you something. It's not about fear. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to talk or to ask questions. Let me tell you something. It would benefit you in the end. Because at the end of the day, you are in the relationship, not the neighbor. It boils down to you, the individual. How do I fix it? How do I last longer? What do, what, what do I use? How do I entertain this one? How do I entertain that one? How do I please this one? How do I please that one? How do I please myself? How do I fix myself? You see, I, this is some of the things I have been dealing with, with older couple. 40 years, 45 years, 50 years, and sometimes some young couple coming in. Said, you know, I meet this girl and I want to have sex, and she willing, but we study, next thing she get pregnant, what will happen? And I will advise them from there. So like I said, I have never regretted opening this Friday night show on my platform. I have never regretted it. Even nurses and, and, and doctors and lawyers and inside, kudos to you on your Friday night show. Kudos to you. Because some of them are so busy, you're married, it's like you're married a workaholic. And the little two hours he's home now, he ain't know what to do. He ain't know what to do. He ain't even know how, oh God, boy, how, I wanna, <coughs> excuse, I wonder how to treat she, boy. I wonder what to do to spice up some little thing, boy. You got to be have some lawyers, you know that? All I feel is joke. But like I say, I ain't regret opening it. It's a blessing to me, and it's a blessing to Trinidad and Tobago also. So viewers, we have about a minute left on our show tonight. I do want to thank you all 
I do want to thank you all for calling in, for logging on to the show. Tell your friends and family about Real Talk with Said Ali, the number one show on Synergy Television from 7 to 8 p.m., especially our Friday night show. Now, viewers, before I go, I am trying to raise close to $200,000 to buy 125 devices for students that are in need. All I'm asking you to do is make a contribution between five to six hundred dollars to meet to Real Talk Studios to purchase this device. If you want to contribute more, we will reach more. What I am giving out is an all-inclusive trip to Tobago for two. Now this trip is valued between five to seven thousand dollars. All inclusive and hotel expensive. I know about it, I could tell you all. So this is what I am giving back to the public. Feel free to call me 238-6716 or 339-1670 to make a contribution. Viewers, we are out of time for tonight, but nevertheless, there are some more restrictions that have been put in place by the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. I want you all to adhere to the COVID-9 regulations. Be safe. If you have nowhere to go, stay home. Make a little cook with your friend and your family. Do that, please. Because it is very serious. The Brazilian strain, it is more dangerous than the normal COVID-19. Right? So I am telling you, please be safe. Follow guidelines. Follow regulations. Until we meet again, viewers, for Mashup Monday. Next week, coming. Allahumma surukaba illa. Irribika di illa zauma anta. Your health and your wealth lies within you. So viewers, until we meet again, good night.